Alright guys, let's take a look at Near Protocol. I don't think we've taken a look at it in a while, but uh, yeah guys, if I zoom in here, you're going to see that it has today broken above uh, the $4.17 mark, which is a weekly resistance for uh, Near Protocol. Now, uh, a few days ago we did kind of finally break this downtrend though. Um, you can see these multiple candles here. Um, which you know are red basically now if I would take the trend line like this um, you know we broke it what yesterday we can say and we retested uh, this trend line now I had this trend line actually drawn a little bit differently earlier uh, I deleted it though you know like this um, now if we do it like that we broke out maybe three days ago you know it doesn't really matter all in all, it basically broke the trend, um, which is a good thing. And, and, you know, we're getting above, you know, major resistance here. So that's good also. And uh, next resistance is getting close to about $5. Um, now, keep in mind, we're still in the, you know, reaccumulation for near protocol. Uh, unfortunately, we have dipped uh, back down into this reaccumulization, you know, basically at the end of July. And uh, yeah, we need to get back out. So we can get out if we move above about $5.54. Uh, but then we have to deal with about $5.75 on a daily resistance, you know, here. So, uh, you know, basically, if we want to get really bullish with near protocol, um, let's see, let me zoom out here. Now, it would be nice to get above about $6, let's just say 50, you know. Uh, so we can take out this whole range we've been in basically this summer. Um, you know, and it would be nice to take out this high up here at about $8.88. You know, I wish I knew that about $9 is going to be the top here in March. So I could have sold and bought a lot more near. Now, near, I still believe, is going probably to the moon. <laughs> um, it's a very good project. So anyways, take a quick look at Bitcoin here. Uh, now, Bitcoin, like I said in a video in BNB today, um, earlier, much earlier, and also I, I, you know, made a stacks video not long ago. Uh, but I did say that I didn't expect this to break tonight. Um, this 61.3, um, you know, with the good PPI numbers that we had, um, I did expect that we would probably, you know, come up to 60.2, might break it, but I didn't expect to break this today. So we'll see. There's still a little bit of time uh, left. We still have about well, four hours and 15 minutes, <clears throat> anything can happen. We could close a candle above it, but uh, it's, you know, Bitcoin is quite volatile at the moment. And uh, yeah, we haven't really closed the candle above it since the 9th of August. So that's about four days. And that was short lived, you know. So uh, basically we closed and then we closed one more. So we only spent about eight hours up there since ooh, it's been a while. So beginning of August. And, uh, yeah, it would be nice to take out this whole range, though. Um, you know, this is a short time frame, though. But, yeah, let's see what happens. If we do break this weekly uh, resistance, next one is 63.1 and 63.8. Now, these are daily time frame um, resistances, and they're only about $700 apart. So I think this zone here will be a little bit tough to get through. Um, but we'll see you guys. You just never know. Tomorrow we do have um, is it CPI. No, let's take a look. Uh, it went back for some reason. I just did a stacks video and I don't know why it went back to today. But anyways, let's look at tomorrow. Um, today was PPI, so I believe tomorrow is CPI. Um, I don't know why this is so slow loading. But yeah, you can see here core CPI uh, is tomorrow at about 2.30. Um, you know, check time. This is Central European time, so it's 8.30 in the morning uh, Eastern time in America. And uh, yeah, guys, keep your eye open tomorrow. I mean, if we get good numbers, uh, I do expect that Bitcoin could break this 61.3 and move up here. Uh, I don't think it'll get through this zone uh, if we do have good numbers anyways. Um, but near protocol, yeah, it could easily come up to five bucks. And uh, may even get up to the top of this Fibonacci, you know, if we do see a 
you know, a couple thousand dollar surge uh, with Bitcoin, you can expect, you know, near probably at least to get to the five bucks, maybe five fifty up in here. Um, anyways, guys, that's all I got for you on near and Bitcoin at the moment. Uh, be watching tomorrow. And uh, if you like this video, like, subscribe, activate the bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one.